It's Friday, April 14th, 2023, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The FBI has arrested a 21-year-old National Guard airman in connection with a massive leak of highly classified intelligence documents. Ben Wolfgang, Guy Taylor, and Mike Glenn report heavily armed federal agents descended on the Massachusetts home of Jack Teixeira Thursday. His arrest came minutes before Attorney General Merrick Garland announced Teixeira will face charges of unauthorized removal of classified national defense information. The case has been deeply embarrassing for the government, apparently sparked when Teixeira began posting top-secret internal Pentagon and intelligence material to the online gaming forum Discord. It took months for the leaks to even be noticed. President Biden has announced plans to give those in the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program access to Affordable Care Act insurance, saying they deserve the same right to health care as Americans. Stephen Dynan reports the proposed regulation would make DACA recipients eligible for Medicaid if they meet the low-income threshold. It would also allow them to buy insurance on Obamacare's exchanges. The president said in a video message that health care is an American right and that those dreamers in the DACA program, who are illegal immigrants, have earned the chance to share that right. Washington Commander's owner Dan Snyder has agreed in principle to sell the team to an investment group led by Philadelphia 76ers owner Josh Harris for $6 billion. Matt Paris reports the development put Snyder on the verge of selling the team he bought for $800 million in 1999. The deal, first reported by Sportico, is not finalized and must still be submitted to the NFL and approved by the league's owners. Over his nearly 24 years of ownership, the embattled Snyder oversaw an era of on-the-field failures and off-the-field scandals that chased away local fans in droves. Snyder put the team on the market after turmoil in recent years that included a congressional investigation for a widespread misconduct scandal, a team name change, and mounting pressure from his peers that he needed to sell. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. The Biden administration will ask the Supreme Court to lift newly imposed court restrictions on a popular abortion pill, sending the pregnancy termination issue back to the court less than a year after its decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Valerie Richardson and Alex Sawyer report Attorney General Merrick Garland said he would press for emergency relief after the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals temporarily scaled back the period when the two-pill regimen can be taken and block the delivery of the drug by mail. The Supreme Court said it will expedite the case and hear arguments on its next available date. While that was happening, Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signed one of the country's strictest limits on abortion into law. Susan Fericchio reports the Heartbeat Protection Act was passed by the Republican-led Florida House Thursday in a 70-40 vote and was signed by DeSantis soon after. The measure bans abortion after six weeks of pregnancy, with some exceptions. It aligns Florida with a dozen other Republican-led states that have moved to significantly restrict abortion. Polling shows that most voters, including those identifying as independents, don't support a ban on abortion as early as six weeks. Opponents say that's effectively a total ban because most women don't know that they're pregnant at that time. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.